Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Yes, today is going to be on the second video of the three cars, the three XRS races that I got. Of course, I've got Bobby Road Tester, I've got Steve Slick the Page, and I also got Punchy Ripeout in a store called BM in the UK. It's pretty big over here, but not anywhere else. I realised that I said that a little bit wrong. But yeah, anyways, without further ado, let's start off this review. And apologies if things didn't actually swap around between videos. That's because, well, I really couldn't be bothered swapping them around. And for the next three reviews, like regular reviews, will be like this. So apologies for that. But yeah, anyways, Steve's look the page. Of course, it says here he is the trunk fresh racer. Of course, pretty cool. I really like him. This is my first actual XRS one I'll be opening because he does, as a regular version, come in this next gen four pack with JD flipped over. Barry the Pedal and Steve Slick the Page, which is my second favourite out of the set. Flip Dover's my favourite. JD's my third. Barry's my fourth. But yeah, of course, I won't be showing that whole pack off because I do not actually have a pack open. It, it's always there. It's literally always there in my videos, right behind this cup. But yeah, anyways, let's start this with you. So here is his name tag, which is incorrect. I mean, he is the Trunk Fish Racer, but he should put, have his name, which is Steve Slick. Or the page, which is in, you know, those two quotes. His name, his quoted name. Made by Mattel, 3 plus, no paper stickers. Mud racing, die cast. There's a little thing where you can actually test it. Real suspension. And because you can see that it says try me. There's Steve Slick the Page's artwork for the XRS line. There's the cars logo. Pretty cool. On the back. We can see a bio here, which I am not going to read to you because I'm really bad at reading. I'm really shit at it. Sorry that I said that word, but yeah. Anyways, of course, we'll be taking a closer look at that. No, wait, why am I saying closer look at? Um, these are other cars that you can get. I didn't bring them all out, but yeah. They're just other cars on the back. Clutch A, Revolting, Leakless, Trunk Fresh. 2018, Mattel. This one is made in China because the one that I actually did buy with my mate was made in Vietnam. But, of course, this packaging is more damaged. So, yeah. Anyways, now let's start on this for you. Here is Steve Slit the Page. And I've got to say, he's been in this package for quite some time because he's already obtained some dust on him. But yeah, I do actually like the fire on him. I've not actually held of um, Steve Slick the Page. That's not the Rocket Racing version one, which we'll show a bit later on. But yeah, anyways, here's his nice happy expression. Pretty cool. Like the smile, which is a bit different because all the next gens usually have a frowning expression. XRS on the hood here. Of course, there's that foil paint that I was talking about. His expression. His number is 34. Pretty cool. This Spoilish silver, roof flaps, window bars, his spoiler here, that reads trunk fresh with green foil on it. On the side, we can see these green rims, which I believe are inaccurate to the Dicus because he has black rims. And I'm trying to look at him over there. <laughs> his sponsors are Obtain Gain, RPM Revolting, Clutch Aid, which are actually inaccurate because he's a next gen, he should have the next gen sponsors, which are carbon cyber combustor. And synergy, you know all the new ones. Anyways, XRS. This X is in this foil green again. He's got the sides here. Again, we've got the working suspension. Here is the back. He's got no rookie stripes, which is actually accurate. Foil again, pretty cool. Thirty four. And there's the flaps. Here is the base, made in China. So yeah, pretty cool. His other releases, which is the only one I actually have, is the Vietnam Rocket Racing version. Maybe I should have opened up a Vietnam one, but I did want the China one open, because I like China. The China releases are actually way much better. Oh yeah, and sorry about this, if you're wondering, this is actually pen. I started writing on my hand in college, and forgot to wash it off. <laughs> but yeah, we can see that he's a, this is the Rocket Racing one. Testing out the suspension now. Sorry. I'm sorry. 
Sorry that I yelled. It wasn't your fault that you almost got you killed. Pretty cool. Of course, we do have the other Trunk Clash races, which I literally just did a review on Dirks and Diestino the other day. Well, the Cars 1 version 1 I did anyways. Of course, we do have the Pity and the Hauler, which I didn't bring out because we're not taking a look at the whole team. But yeah, that does pretty much end this video. Surprise, it's five minutes long, actually. My next video, after um, my, I think it's the fifth day of Christmas, will be on Punchy Wipeout around exactly the same time. So make sure you are subscribed. Of course, hit that bell notification button down below if you dislike my videos. For some reason, dislike them. But yeah, anyways, there is one quick announcement. Shall I change my channel completely, like, to just elimination videos or just... You know, other kind of videos instead of just reviews. I do like doing reviews because it's talking information about the car, which is what my channel is mostly about. But I want to change my channel completely, like to anything. But I don't want to lose subscribers because if I upload too frequently, I do lose subscribers. But yeah, anyways, until the next one, bye guys.